going on guys? Sorry about the intro. I was just trying to practice my editing skills and play around with the settings and the effects and whatnot. But anyway, uh, let's get into the topic. So today, I just want to quickly share with you guys about my recent buy. I found this gem on Facebook Marketplace and straight away, without thinking twice, I grabbed it for 850 bucks Aussie dollars. Now let's get into the details. So this is a 2013 Wheelia or Wheelia Gran Turismo. It's a full carbon frame and fork with carbon Ricci seat post with Ultegra 11 speed DI2 which I believe to be the model 6870. I might be wrong. And it originally came with a set of 50 millibon Charger Aura 5 TLR but I slapped my Mavic Cosmic wheels on it because just because I like them better. Also, it came with a Cell Italia saddle, but again, I put on my Physique Ariani saddle because it fits me better personally. It's got a very lightweight FSA SLK light crankset with a 5339 rotor oval chain rings, 3T Teams Tam and Zip Ali bars. And oh, it had a chain. I'm just in the process of putting in a new one, hence the lack of chain in here. And overall, the condition of this bike is very good. All right, so let's talk about the Villa or Villa Gran Turismo and who is this bike for? Uh, Gran Turismo was one of Villa's early versions of an endurance bike. It's stiff but comfortable enough geometry wise with its relatively highest tack height and compliance wise as well as you can see the semi dropped seat stays and it's also lightweight it's really good for long hauls tours and sportive cycling events aerodynamics though i can't really tell 100 percent especially for an eight year old piece of technology but looking at the bladed fork and the trapezoid shape down tube and the top tube creases to me it's very indicative that somehow this frame had been in a wind tunnel when it was being engineered apart from being a rim brake though which doesn't bother me at all because i prefer rim brakes due to its practicality aspect and that's a different story and actually quite surprising for a frame of this age and even being not a top of the shelf model it can still be very relevant to today's latest designs and trends like the internal cabling system particularly the uh, the rare mech cable which is it which is internally routed through the frame from the down tube and exits at the chain stay of the drive side and of course the general aesthetics or the look and feel of the bike as a whole and I have to mention that the total weight of the bike as it originally came, and that includes the pedals, was 7.8 kilograms. And that's not too bad at all. So this is just to show you that the very cycling can be a very expensive hobby or lifestyle but it's still very possible to build your dream bike without breaking a bank. You just have to be a bit smart as to where to look for used but in good condition components at a fraction of the retail price. Peace out. <laughs>